Are you ready for takeoff? What you're looking at here right now is actual through the lens footage of the Vario VR3 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes, it looks so clear. So might this actually be the holy grail for flight simmers? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ank, and this channel is all about the latest in virtual reality. So if you want to know more about headsets like the VR3, then absolutely subscribe now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. If you've missed my videos about the Vario VR3, then absolutely check this video that I'm linking here right now. But in a nutshell, the Vario VR3 is a high-end VR headset made for enterprises, costs more than 3,000 euro and comes with a yearly fee of 800 euros. And unfortunately, I have found out that it's a brilliant gaming device. And with these through the lens videos, I can only give you an idea about how this actually looks when you wear it and when you see everything in 3D with this perfect clarity. It is beautiful. So might this actually be the holy grail for flight simmers right now? In terms of clarity, I would say absolutely yes. We're looking at a display of 2800 by 2700 pixels. That's the peripheral display that is in use if you're using it with a 3080 or 3090. If you want to use that super high density 70 PPD focus display, then you would have to super sample the picture and well, these graphics cards, I'm using the 3080 right now, can't pull it off. But later, probably with the 4090, you will actually be able to use that focus display and make it even sharper, which is basically unbelievable right now for me. But why is this actually now the new king of clarity? We had other headsets before with a high resolution, like the Pimax 8KX, right? Well, the thing here is we have this high resolution, 2800 by 2700 pixels per eye, and we have aspheric lenses. Now, that is really the difference. These lenses are simply completely clear. There are no concentric rings, there are no god rays, so there is nothing that could actually make the picture quality get worse. And that is the secret here. That is so beautiful. And again, I hope that more companies, more VR headset companies would go back to aspheric lenses. But yes, also I need to stress this again, Aspheric lenses also have disadvantages. And the biggest disadvantage is that they introduce distortions. And also here with the Vario VR3, I can see distortions. When I reviewed the Pimax headsets, I would describe it as the world moves with me when I move my head. Like for example, I look at a square and then I move my head and the square doesn't perfectly stay in place. It would move around a bit. So it's a combination of pupil swim, barrel distortion and all these things which are not ideal. So I need to tell you it is here as well. How bad is it? Does it distract me? Like within the game, no. Like here for example, no, I don't see it here. But if there's a menu, if there's a square, if there's text, and then I would move around my head, then indeed I would see it, but in games, I don't really see it. However, that's only for me. I don't know, it might distract you, right? So everybody is very different and that's what I learned in my career as a VR headset reviewer. People are so different and perception is so different. But again, what I can tell you about my perception, this is the best picture, the best visuals that I've ever seen in a VR headset, period. I can absolutely not see individual pixels anymore and I can see so far ahead, kilometers far into the distance, like here, these mountains in the distance. With other headsets, this might just be some blurry mess, but here I can absolutely clearly see that and that is simply the dream of every simmer. I mean, just look at this, look at how beautiful this is. I really hope that this through the lens video can make you yeah, get an idea about how good this is. Just imagine you wear this and you have this 3D vision and probably you have a 3090 and yes, I would say you need a 3090. My 3080 is just okay-ish, but well, I did have the program crash lots of times. The frame rate could be better, so yeah, 3090 for sure. So is this better than the Reverb G2, for example, that most flight simmers probably use right now? Yes, it is better in terms of the clarity. 
It is better in terms of the resolution. It is better in terms of the FOV. So lots of things are coming together here. So absolutely yes. In terms of clarity, this is the holy grail for flight simulators right now. In terms of FOV, you get an FOV like the Valve Index, so that is good. But of course, there are better headsets in terms of FOV, like the Pimax headsets, the Pimax 8KX, for example. So it really depends what is more important for you. Is it the field of view or is it the clarity? For me, it is the clarity because just look at it. It's just beautiful. It's just so incredible. And well, you also get this here with 90 FPS with the Vario VR3. In terms of colors, I was simply amazed because, well, we're looking at an LCD panel actually. That peripheral display is an LCD panel, but the colors are so good. And I did reach out to Vario and I asked them, why are the colors so good? Is this really an LCD panel? And they said, yes, it is an LCD panel, but it's a very, very high-end one. An LCD panel that is way more expensive than those LCD panels that you see in those normal consumer headsets. And well, that makes sense because the colors are amazing here. So how about sweet spot and edge-to-edge -edge clarity? Well, the aspheric lenses do help here. So sweet spot wise, this is fantastic. You put this on and you are in the sweet spot. It is just so much better than any of those Fresnel lenses. And about edge stretch clarity, also that is way better than what we see with Fresnel lenses. However, it is also not perfect. So even you have these clear lenses on the very far edges of the lenses, the quality will degrade. And you do see that within those through the lens videos that I'm showing you here. If you look at the very edges of the lenses, you will see that it's probably not as clear as in the center of the vision. But as compared to those Fresnel lenses, it is way better and you're going to enjoy a clear picture as clear as you've never seen it before. Now here on the runway you see those black lines, but in the headset you don't see those. That has only to do with the way I'm doing the through the lens videos, so no worries about that one. So yes, the Vario VR3 is an unbelievably amazing headset for flight simmers, probably the headset for flight simmers. But unfortunately, it's still sold as a business device, right, with this yearly fee. So Vario would sell so many of these if they came out with that consumer version and I hope it's going to happen. So dear flight simmers, if you want to send a strong message to Vario, give this video a thumbs up. And if we reach at least 5,000 thumbs up for this video, I'm definitely going to make more through the lens videos. Probably you want to see more airplanes. Probably you want to see more through the lens videos of nice environments within Microsoft Flight Simulator. And please do comment which flights are the most beautiful, which scenic areas are absolutely worth a through the lens video. Do comment on this video and do let me know what you want to see if we get 5,000 thumbs up. All right, and that's it for this through the lens video of the Vario 3 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I totally hope that this was interesting for you. Again, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have not yet subscribed to Emmer TV yet, then absolutely do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss my next through the lens video of the Vario VR3. And now I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.